Let's check them. To survive. Whenever you hold a Russian arm in your hands, you feel like they are so strong they will function after two nuclear blasts. Today's topic was also designed in an age when long life and reliability were key elements, and the programmed obsolescence were not part of the R&D project. This beast is a real World War II veteran made in 1944, and I will show you that it still can shoot. After the end of the First World War, the pistol was never considered a principal military firearm, but as the Hungarian Revolution had to use each and every single firearm they had, the TT pistols, the Russian self-loading TT pistols, saw first-line service in the conflict. During the First World War, the faithful companion of the Russian officer was the 7.62x38R caliber M1895 Nagant revolver. Although they were effective sidearms, the firepower of the self-loading pistols proved much better in the trench warfare. To replace the old workhorse, Fyodor Vasilyevich Tokarev submitted a semi-auto design for the army trials. He won the tender with a pistol inspired by the 1903 FN Browning pistol. In fact, the blowback-operated pistol uses the short recoil tilting barrel system invented by John Moses. With minor initial modifications, the TT-33 was pushed into service in 1933, and it was the most common sidearm of the Red Army in the Second World War. The TT pistol served until 1952 when it was replaced by the 51 model 9mm Makarov pistols. After the First World War, the military value of the pistol was questioned in the modern motorized warfare tactics, but it stayed the symbol of the officer. The TT pistol fires the same powerful 7.62x25 round as the PPD, PPS and PPS submachine guns. This round has a better penetration than most of today's pistol cartridges and has quite a flat trajectory. The traditional box magazine holds 8 rounds and you can have one in the chamber also. The firing mechanism of the pistol is single action only. Let's check the accuracy at 20 meters. The TT is not the most comfortable pistol to shoot as the angle of the grip is too close to 90 degrees. Let's check it. Not that bad. It is not comfortable. It is absolutely not comfortable, but still it shoots good from, with a two-handed hold. Okay, the distance is only 20 meters, so it's not much. But still this group is decent. I don't know if this was me or the pistol. But this four shots, that's okay. The revolution was not planned at all, so there were no secret weapon storages hidden for the rebels. Each of them fought with the firearms he was able to possess. Large number of TT pistols were confiscated from the gun lockers of the Hungarian police and army, and they immediately saw action against the army of the Communist Party and later against the Soviet army. But I am pretty sure that if a rebel started the fight with a pistol, he was happy to trade it for an SMG or a rifle. The Hungarian made Walter copy the fake 48M and the Hungarian TT copy called 48M2 also saw service in the freedom fight. And the fighters also got some 9mm Makarov pistols and even some Mauser C96 pistols from the Red Army. What I really like about Russian guns is that they are usually very easy to disassemble and the TT pistol is not an exception. Field stripping and maintenance is quick and easy and you don't need any special skills or tools to do it. After removing the catch of the slide stop, you just have to remove it gently to be able to remove the slide and barrel assembly from the frame. Push its axis out and pull it from the other side. Now you can move the slide forward, but be careful for the recoil spring as it will try to escape.
An interesting feature of the TT pistols is that the hammer assembly can be removed from the frame as a separate part. The two protruding rails visible on the assembly help a lot in feeding and ejecting the cartridges, so the TT pistol is much less sensitive to the damage of the magazine as other self-loading pistols. The TT pistol is light and slim, so it is comfortable for open or concealed carry. It does not have any safety, only the hammer has a half cock position, so it is not up to modern safety standards, but during the 40s and the 50s, this was absolutely accepted design. Pistols are designed for close combat, usually not more than 5-8 meters, but as I like living on the edge, I decided to try this little B to 80 meters. I am pretty sure that the TT pistol and the bullets are accurate enough at this distance, but the tiny sights make it difficult to place the shots in the metal plate. But 2 out of 5 was good enough for me, and the misses were also close. The TT pistol is anything but comfortable, and from today's point of view it is absolutely outdated. But it plays an important part in the firearms history, and it plays an important part in my country's history, so why not shoot it at the range?